viruses versus everyone. This informative animation created by Toby Morris, with the help from Susie Wiles, and this video created by Safa Paksu. Three simple points about the science of COVID-19. Point one micro scale. Let's start off by zooming in all the way in. Viral particles are tiny. They're a thousand times smaller than bacteria, which are already super tiny, and they're super abundant. You can often find 10 million viruses in a single drop of seawater. Luckily, the vast majority don't affect humans. Fewer still are harmful. Essentially, they consist of a protein shell, and inside that is DNA or RNA material the virus needs to replicate itself. Like a recipe almost. DNA is a two-stranded molecule. RNA has one strain. The COVID-19 coronavirus uses RNA. Next, the virus needs a host to reproduce. A cell. Once it's come in contact with the right kind of cell, the virus hijacks it and takes over. Then it makes the cell replicate and assembled copies of itself sometimes destroying the original cell in the process. Those new copies go on the repeat the pattern again and again and again. Point two, me scale. Next, let's zoom out to an individual human scale. Let's imagine I have the virus. When I cough, I'm spreading those virus copies out on their quest to find new hosts. When I cough into the air, droplets fall down onto surfaces around me. When I cough onto my hands or wipe my nose until I wash the virus in on my hands, ready to spread onto the things I touch. Research is changing fast, but at time of writing it's believed that the COVID-19 coronavirus can survive on surfaces for up to three days, four hours on copper, 24 hours on cardboard, to two, three days on plastic and steel. Research also suggests that COVID-19 can begin spreading three days before symptoms show. So I could have been walking around, spreading the virus with no idea. This is why we have to cough and sneeze into our elbows, not the air or our hands and why we have to wash our hands. So what if you're not infected? Well, you can pick up these droplets. If you've touched a rail or a door handle or shelf, the virus could be on your hands now. But does that mean you're infected? Well, not yet. The virus has to get into your body, and that happens when your hand touches your eyes, your nostril or your mouth. That's when the virus can take over the cell. It needs to find to start replicating and begin the cycle again. That's why we have to try not to touch our faces. Point three, mega scale. But let's zoom out again, because the biggest point here is that this isn't about individual scale. This isn't about me or you, it's about all of us. Life is in a movie where we're the main character. That doesn't mean we're not important. We're all key pieces in a complex interconnected world. This virus has a strong reminder that we're in this thing together. Zoomed out further the pattern of how the virus spreads looks similar to the micro scale. We're like cells waiting be infected, but we can change our behavior individually and collectively. These points are us, and our actions make a huge difference. Our choices affect hundreds or thousands of others. Working collectively we're powerful. My hope is that after this is all over, we can remember that. Thanks for watching. Please stay home and stay safe.